Okay, have you ever in your life wondered what you would get if you combined a Ghostbuster, a Jedi, and Jessica Rabbit together? No? Well then that is perfectly understandable, because none of us would have thought of that. But if you did, yeah, you would get a character just as awesome as you would think you would get. That's where Ryoko comes in. The main character of the series, Ghost Sweeper. Dangerous, beautiful, and 100% badass. So from what I gather, her anime is basically about capturing ghosts and sending them off to the afterlife. And in 1993, it was decided to bring her adventures to the Super Nintendo. Or rather, the Super Famicom. Yeah, this is one of those titles that only got released in Japan, and I wish I could tell you what they're saying, but unfortunately I don't read Japanese. But I do know good gameplay when I see it. Ghost Sweeper is a side-scrolling adventure platformer, and I love those types of games! You control Ryoko as she goes around using her baton to fight off various spirits. I notice she's also pulling a Jurassic World by running in high heels, because that's a smart thing to do when you're being chased by something scary. Oh wait, this came out first. So was Jurassic World technically pulling a Ghost Sweeper? Hmm... So the spirits you have to fight come in all shapes and sizes, such as creepy floating girls, zombies, thing from the Addams Family, and... um... Some people who really need to be in a registered database. Saka! So you might take one look at Ryoko's baton and think, well, that's nowhere near as cool as it is in the anime, and you would be absolutely correct. But you can find various power-ups to make it better, and also use a move that draws in all the surrounding enemies. The boss battles are a lot of fun and all have to do with some kind of spirit. They're not too difficult, as long as you pick up on the patterns. The level design is kind of basic, but there are a few stages that will change it up a little bit and surprise you. Like level 3, when a spirit appears in Ryoko's office and shrinks her down. Then you have to play the next level on the back of a running cat. Well, that's pretty creative. Or another level where they just decide to put her on a broom and fight in the sky. The only downside is that she can't attack behind her, so you have to plan your moves carefully when you're attacking the boss. So as I stated before, this game was a Japan exclusive, and that's a shame, because I really think the rest of the world back then would have enjoyed this game. But maybe it was because anime didn't really have much of a presence in North America back then, and they thought that the general gaming public wouldn't accept it. I don't know, but I think it would have done okay. If you're nostalgic for a good side-scroller from the 16-bit era, you need to play this title. It's a game that has been sadly overlooked. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>